G'day, I'm Mike Hayes, and welcome to Jazz Guitar Chord Melody, Part 41. In today's session, our focus will be on creating introductions, turnarounds, and endings. And I'm hoping to pass on a few tips as to how to create a smooth transition from one chord to the next. Now, I know you'll all be itching to get started on this, so I'll stop yakking. But just before we do get started, a quick reminder to subscribe if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on all of the good stuff. Okay, time to grab your guitar and let's get started. All the examples in this session will be presented in the key of C. And don't forget that the introduction sequences that we're learning can also function as turnarounds. The concept that I'm using to create these introductions and endings is what is known as the constant melody note. And the idea is that you select a certain note and have that note played continually as the top note of each chord in the sequence. Now what I find works well is that since we're in the key of C, for turnarounds I would use either the note E or G as the top note in each chord. And when we're creating endings, the note C is a good choice for the top note in each chord. So here's a quick review just before we get into playing all the examples. If you want to create an introduction or turnaround, a good idea is to have either the third or the fifth of the tonic chord as a constant melody note. And when it comes to creating endings, a good idea is to have the root note as the top note in each chord. Okay, let's get started with these introductions. I'm going to start with a fairly common chord sequence that's used in many songs. And you probably already know this progression. C major 7, C sharp diminished, D minor 7 to G7. For this first example, I'm going to play this chord progression, but I'm going to tie all these chords together by having the note E as the constant melody note of each chord. Now, just for us to practice with, I'm going to play this two bar sequence through three times and then finish with C major 7, D flat major 7, and C major 7. And of course, this is just for you to practice with. In a song, you'd only play the two bar sequence. Here we go. chord progression that we've just played is sometimes interpreted as C major 7, A7 flat 9, D minor 9 to G7. Let's have a listen to how that chord progression would shape up with the constant E note as the top note of each chord. <laughs> In this next example, we're going to use E minor 7 as a substitute for C major 7. Let's have a listen to how that would sound, again using our constant E melody note. <laughs> Now 
let's have a bit of fun with this next example. I'm thinking of this progression as basically E7, A7, D7, G7. So essentially, it's a cycle of sevenths starting on the third of the key. Now, of course, when you look at the names of these chords, we have B flat 9, sharp 11. Well, actually, that's just another name for E7 sharp 5. And what we have there is a flat 5 substitution with the B flat in the bass. And if we think that through, you see that's exactly the same idea with the A flat 9 sharp 5. That's just another name for a D7 sharp 5 with the flat 5 in the bass. OK, we've still got this constant E as the top note. Let's have a listen to how that sounds. Here's the exact same chord progression, only this time with a different voicing for the G13. Here's an example of an introduction with G being the constant melody note on the top of each chord. One more example with G as the top melody note. This time we're substituting E minor for C major 7th. doubt some of these chord progressions will sound familiar. That chord progression you've just heard can be found in songs such as the One Note Samba. You'll also find that progression in The Lady is a Tramp. Now up to this point, in each example, I've been playing the chord and holding the chord for two beats. Now depending on the song and the effect that you want to create, Sometimes you might want to move the chords faster. You might want more movement. Uh, I'm just going to give you an example again where the top melody note, the constant melody note, uh, will be G. But I'm going to move the chords at the rate of one beat per chord for the first bar and then sustaining the chords in the second bar for two beats. And now here's an example of an ending. So this time, the constant melody note is C on the top of each chord. 
And now here's an example where I've combined all the things we spoke about. In fact, I've created a really big long ending. The first two bars has C as the top melody note, the constant note. The next two bars feature G as the top note. The next two bars feature E. And then I'm back to C as the top melody note. So I've simply used all the notes in a C major triad and I've created this really big long ending. OK, here we go. Okay, that's it for this session, folks. I hope there's something there that you can use in your own playing to help you develop your own style. Don't forget, if you have any questions or comments, to pop them in the comments section below the video. And as always, I look forward to catching up with you again next time. Bye for now.